Hey guys, so I just made a dancing video and then I also wanted to post this separate video um, up for you all um, surrounding the the blog post that I posted earlier. Um, and it was surrounding the issue of how we navigate and learn tools um, surrounding anxiety and fear um, in all its forms. Fear comes in many different forms. And um, so I hope that you go and read it. Um, you can, I'm, I'm going to link down my Instagram account and my Facebook account because sometimes I do blog just only on those platforms. Um, and I hope that you watch my dance video. It's, um, I love to dance and it's one of the art forms that I find that opens me up in, in no other way that, no, no other way can other than writing um, or singing. I sing too. I have yet to do, make one of those videos. <laughs> Maybe I will with my brother one day or something. He, he, my whole family is very musical. So, um, but to um, kind of address the the posts that I wrote today on my Instagram and my Facebook is that we all, um, we all have our days where the anxiety tries to get the best of us and it almost wants to eat us alive and we feel defeated and we or we feel um paralyzed by it but um my point in that post was that the tool that i'm learning to use is to when that happens, when I feel paralyzed by the fear and the anxiety, is to not give in to it, to not, well, I should say not to fight it and not to resist it, but to lean into it and to allow it to have its way with me. Um, and that way, it can move through me. And, and it did. This morning when I was having those humongous emotions, I allowed it to move through me and it was wonderful how much better I felt hours later. Um, I, I did go back to sleep for like an hour or two and I woke up feeling so much better and I just laid there and I just let it do its thing. You know, I was like, okay, I'm going to sit here in terror for a little bit. I'm going to sit here with all my fears. I'm just going to sit here with all my, you know, worries about the future and my insecurities and all that stuff. I'm just going to let it be there, you know? And, um, it was not comfortable. It was actually felt pretty bad as it usually does with anybody, but I just let it sit there, you know, and let it do its thing. And I became the observer. I stepped back from the person who thinks she's actually experiencing those things in her animal body. I stepped back and I was the observer the consciousness in the animal body and that really helped me a lot and I'm getting better and better at it as time goes by so I I wanted to post this along with my dancing video because I hope that this this really helps you guys it's it's a it's a huge tool I mean it helps me even through all the terror of anxiety and even times you know when we go through a mini depression or whatever um leaning into it and allowing it to do its thing, um, to, to cleanse you of your past traumas, to cleanse you of your limiting belief systems that keep you hindered. All that stuff plays into it. So I hope that this helped you and I hope you're having a good week and I love you all. Namaste.